Welcome to the penultimate stage, then 900 kilometers of special. As in the stage, car drivers enjoy the dunes of San Juan at the start of the day, but also have to cross an area of fesh fesh, which will put their nerves to the test. What the hell is fesh fesh? So just all the vegetation and all the, you know, rough, kind of the rough terrain that we have to go through. Those familiar with the tracks of the Argentinian round of the WRC were done find the terrain to their taste, but there's still more to be lost than gained at this point. In fact, the DACA, many commentators have been known to let the title slip through their fingers the day before the finish. Or even the day of the finish, as we saw this year. Uh, it's got 15 waypoints, and you can see the stage is split in two as well. So the first half of this stage is just 140 kilometers, no control points, just 15 waypoints. Then a big gap, as you can see, of over 300 and what 60 odd kilometers until we rejoin the second part of the competitive part of this stage at 507 k's, and then we continue all the way to 758 k's. So that's what 251 k's. The second half of this stage. If you scroll up, right, yeah, and then the first half is 140, so it's just under 400 kilometers of competitive special here ahead of us. Uh, so here's the map. As you can see, here we are at Sun One, and there's the big, big gap in between as you head towards Cordoba and the finish of the Dakar. As once again, tyres going to wear. You've got to be, you probably got to be careful with the tyres in the first 140k's. We might just be a bit slower, to be honest, in the first half. And then, because we've got no control points as well, so there's no like free kind of repairs for us, like time wise. So, yeah, maybe we just got to look after the tyres a bit better in the first half of the stage. And then we've got the, you know, control points in the second half of the stage. Uh, so, we've got an almost three hour lead after winning the last stage, but over 20 minutes. Let's see if we can just survive this stage. And basically crown ourselves the Dakar champions. Listo para salir. Atención en vegetación. Empieza en pista. No te desconcentres. Cinco, cuatro, tres. Let's go! As uh, in the slightly some trails, then to begin things off with. Oh god, it's turning right immediately. There you go with the tricky navigation. It's going to be this stage where we can get lost. And the last stage, actually. I said the last stage has got tricky navigation as well, so we've got to be careful. As, as we saw at the beginning, we can still we can still lose the Dakar here. All right. As I said, I need to kind of look after the vehicle a bit better than I did the previous stage. Because tyres are not lasting long at all. Barely. Tyres barely lasting what 300 kilometers now. So. What, this way? There's a junction there, I don't know... Oh. Yeah, it's happened. No, we've hit a waypoint way ahead. Right, let me go back. The thing is, it doesn't kind of like... It doesn't say which road to go on, that's what's confusing. Because there's multiple roads there. I don't know why they've not had a way, a road book note to say which road to go on once you make this tight turn in. Because, yeah, there's, oh, this is the road, this is the turning, isn't it? So yeah, this is the tight turning. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Oh, oh. Un Shit, where are they going? There they are. Oh, let's just, fo let's just follow you, Patrice. You know where you're going. Is it Patrice? What's his hose there? I don't know. 
Wait, wait, anyway, this is the tight turning. See, no, we're meant to go right. They do not tell you to go right. <laughs> like, how are you meant to know that? You have to, like, read the developer's mind. I don't get why it says a right and then it doesn't have a left. It goes left. I don't know why it doesn't have a right turn after. They should have had that. Should have had that. As I think we're fine, fellow Jose, at the moment. But yeah, did not understand that road, but no, it should we're be lost. a right, should be a Let's left, and then the and then a right. It should have been that. That should have been afterwards, like on that road, but no. So it's like a. What the fuck? Where are you going, Jose? So it should have been a you know, kind of chicane route on there instead of just one left hand turn. Right, we're going to be brave. We're going to stay ahead of Fedor Jose. Right, so do have Patrice in front. As, once again, your American accent came out. I don't know what's happening, mate. See, no, like that. Why is it? Why wasn't the robot note like that? You can see what I mean. Sharp left and then right. That's what the next row. That's what that robot note should have looked like. I can't believe they put it in, like, a couple robot notes later, but they're not on that robot note. My god. Alright. Anyway, that's one to remember for the cars as well. I've got to try and remember that I've got to turn left, then right. Instead of going just left and then straight ahead, like the robot note implies. And the co-driver doesn't really correct you either, so... Alright, let's blast the heads. I knew had Patrice as well, huh? I thought we were following Ho Fedor Jose. Maybe not. It's not coming up to the snake. It's very snaky. All right. I'll, I'll update the road, but note then. Why not? Oh yeah, look how thin these traces are as well. God, it's going to be like head in the car. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be able to keep track of these traces. Like, at least this vehicle's low to the ground. Small. I can see where I need to go, but the car big, a bit higher to the ground. I'm not going to be able to follow these traces. Yeah, it must have been Patrice we were rolling with. We're way ahead of them now. Yeah, there you go. That's one of the dangers of the Dakar then. Right at the end. Freaking navigation issues. Being told not where... To, being told where not to go. Or not where... Being told... Not where to go. I don't know. English, whatever. So it, just, it keeps throwing me that my co-driver keeps speaking American. I don't know. Maybe it's from Cali. You know, there's lots of, you know, Spanish speaking, like, communities there. Maybe it's maybe from California. Who knows? On the board, near the border, like with, it's like San Diego or somewhere. Deberíamos volver a la última nota de la hoja de ruta. Dude, I'm following the road book. Shut up. <laughs> it's because I've gone through to through the next like waypoint. So he's like, we're going the wrong way, dude. What are you talking about? But yeah, I got to actually hopefully follow the road book correctly this time. Well, the road book is correct this time. I know it is Patrice that's in front. Okay, maybe we're rolling in front of Jose then. Because Patrice is like six kilometers up the road then from us. Oh my god, how twisty is this? Hmm. 
We'll just continue. There's no other path, so I'm guessing we're still on the right traces. I didn't see any other traces. The trees has gone through the next next waypoint. There we go, we did figure it out, alright. Cinco kilómetros y trescientos. Sigue en pista. Alright, at least we've got less than hundred Ks to go on this part of the <laughs> of the stage. Alright, let's see when Patrice goes through the next waypoint, we'll see what the gap is. Right, so I think it's, I think it's around 6 kilometers. No, it's around six comes from that waypoint to the next one, so the gap's are actually bigger. Hmm. I thought we were able to at least catch up to on this half, maybe not. Oh, there's a bit of sand. I haven't seen that for a while. I mean, we've seen them in the Rio, but you know, properly like dunes, sand. I see a word of Fado Jose. Mantente a la izquierda. Peligro dos. Recto. En pista. Diez kilómetros y trescientos. Okay, so next. Atención. Next waypoint is at 64k, so we're 10k's away from that. So at least we're less than 10k's behind Patrice. Again, we've got like junctions here and stuff, they're not turning us to the right way. Co driver's falling asleep again. Yeah, we're 6k's behind Patrice, he's just gone through that waypoint in front. Yeah, this is like a freaking nightmare to navigate. <laughs> no, okay, co driver's awake again, so I'm guessing we're on the right right road. Right traces. God, that's why you don't want to go quick as well. Tight corners everywhere, tight bends, easy outbreak yourself as we're going off road as well. And it's like at the next road, but no. He did say go off cap, did go off road, didn't he? 500, recto, angosto, peligro 2. Angosto, recto en pista, pel 500, mantente a la derecha, sinuoso. Mantente a la derecha, sinuoso, atención. There's another one? Where's that? Oh, there. At least this is like slow speed as well, so there's less chance of us actually damaging the tires a lot. That's the one good thing about this twisty nightmare. Try it. Alright. 
sigue en pista. I like turning right at these junctions. Are we just heading back to the beginning now? Like, what? what's going on? Right, we're still 6Ks behind the trees. We're going to go for the next way point when we hit 80Ks. Oh, that's a tree. No, it's up to 7Ks now. Maybe because I drive like that. <laughs> I notice there's a tree in front. I still just drive into it. I mean, they did say it would be familiar to people who've driven Argentina WRC. So I thought I'd just bring my WRC tactics here. Which is drive into everything. <laughs> right, less than 60Ks to go. Through this labyrinth. Uh, how you say on the same waypoint? Right. You've got a junk T junction ahead. Somewhere. Oh God, there's no like actual proper off cap. We just had that one scene where we'd like cut a corner. I think that's safe for the second half this stage. Right, 50k's to go, come on. Oh yeah, I was trying to look after the tyres, wasn't I? <laughs> The waypoint's coming thick and fast. Oh no, we've got 9k to the next one now. Alright, oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We're trying to manage that throttle. Now that's how you say ahead of me. I can't be right. Oh no, I was meant to go left. Oh, I went straight. Fuck. I've just noticed that. Oh my god, that's why. Now Claude's ahead of me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wouldn't be an Argentina stage without a navigation issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> or two on this this stage. All right, let's go back to the freaking junction. I wonder who's showing ahead of me. All right, it's around 110 k's when we hit that junction. So that would be around here. Where are we? Trying to nip to the right for a turn off. Somewhere around here. Oh, here we go. Alright, so we're definitely starting last on the, on the second half this day. I guess that's good for us though, we'll be chasing everyone down. Again, our main goal is just to finish, God damn it. So it'll be around 118.
That's straight ahead. No. I suppose your American accent has come out. Still tight lipped about the American accent, eh? There we go. Right, at least are definitely going the right way now. <laughs> hey, that's... Let's see, we go this way. For 18 Ks. This better be the right way. <laughs> you can actually see how far back we are behind Claude, actually. I imagine we're... 5k's back, at least. So this is why it's important to highlight your road book at the beginning of every stage, so you can actually see those turn-offs. Or just pretend they're not there, like I've done. <laughs> like... I guess that's that would be like the true legend run, like I have... I had a no code driver, but I've highlighted the roadbook. Or I have no roadbook, but I've got the code driver. And no HUD. That'll be, that'll be the true, like, legendary run on this. Kind of what we do with the... With the bikes. I think he's asleep. <laughs> oh, no. Woke up. God damn it. I shouldn't have said that. He's like... <laughs> Woke them up. Let's see if I'm right about the distance of Claude. It should be going through the next waypoint now. Oh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm closer than I think. Yeah, I'm 4k's back. Twenty k's to finish line. All right. Trying just to follow the damn traces, not get lost. At least we're at the right ray this time. <laughs> so you can see finish actually now is just around 20 k's up the road. Wait, this is all on traces this first half. I'm just going to save the off-road stuff for the second half. Trying to push a bit. Again, I said I don't feel like you can on this type of stage. It's just about getting the road bit, getting the navigation right. More than anything, as I've tried to demonstrate, that's like why I got lost this most of this stage. Right, here we go. 9k to the end. 
sigue pista. Atención. So far behind Claude we are, apart from a couple, two and a half minutes. Cuatro kilómetros para línea de meta. Concéntrate. Oh, he definitely closed a bit. Oh, there he is. He can just about see him in front. So yeah, definitely have closed. Come back, Claude. Half stages. That's all we got. No va a ser fácil. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Vamos. So we're two minutes fifteen seconds behind Claude overall, time-wise. Uh, as we begin with a thirty, we can see Claude in front. Actually, there he is. Quinientos. Zona de límite de velocidad a treinta. Casa comienzo de zona de límite de velocidad a treinta. Perfectly slowed down. Hi folks, yeah, I know, Dakar winner incoming, I know. Entre las casas. Zona de de velocidad. Look at that guy by himself. Alright. Termina zona de límite de velocidad. Go, go, Vamos. go. Now my head of court, that's not right. Court's in front of us. Dos baches. Peligro dos. Dos baches. Peligro dos. Atención. Now we attack a bit. <laughs> As you can see, we've got two control zones on this stage. We're going to go far until we get the first one. They're all like in the last, what, quarter of the stage? So yeah, we've got a long way. So yeah, maybe, I sh again, I shouldn't be pushing it too much. Now, so we do have another 30 coming up in around 10 Ks. Izquierda cerrada. Ascenso. Sinuoso. Peligro 2. 10 kilómetros. Sigue pista. Atención. Can get past you, Claude. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the... This is WRC, isn't it? WRC Road. This feels familiar. Went wrong. Has Jose. He's gone through four waypoints. So he's just gone through that Atención. 30 in front. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, maybe stick to the road. That might be a good tactic. <laughs> right, just 5k's till that 30 zone. So yeah, this is maybe where we can make up time then. Even though we don't need to, but no te Recto. we want we want to be we want to ride with fellow Jose, you know, on this bottom of the stage, you know. It's unfortunately, it's like Patrice is going to get between us and our Jose one too, but we can at least make sure he's on the podium. Oh my god, houses! Alright. Look at that. So, we're, get, we're getting good at stopping for the 30s. So it down perfectly. And I was a bit down here afterwards. So be careful of that. Is hello. Un kilometro y ochocientos. Recto. Zona de límite de velocidad. Everyone cheering. Quite a big 30, actually. Couple k's long. Yes, yeah, just 46 waypoints actually, but we're quite a distance, don't we? It's like 250 odd k's. So again, waypoints quite spread out on this one. Zona de de velocidad. 
Saint Pete is mostly on on the PC at the moment. It's got another 30 coming up. I just seen that. Let's see, pulled away nicely from Cordit, it looks like. Just taking our own route. Just taking any shortcut we can. He did say, he did say cut, didn't he, through the... Comienzo de zona de límite de velocidad a 30. Termina zona de límite de velocidad. Vamos, sigue All right. recto. Vamos. And oh, there's another 30. 500. No wonder there's so many waypoints that begin in here then. Sigue recto. Must Campo start to spread out after this. Kilómetros. Continúa en pista. Sigue. 500. Prepárate para girar a la derecha al final de la valla a tu derecha. Zona de límite de velocidad a 30. Derecha. Comienzo de zona de límite de velocidad a 30. Peligro 2. Izquierda. Zona de límite de velocidad. Atención. Again, I imagine quick guys are just straight lining it through that trees to our left. Termina zona de límite de velocidad. Vamos. I'm doing a better job of staying above 25 k's as well. Atención. And then we're going in circles again, got another right coming in a couple k's. Not this one. <laughs> it's just the... This is just the chicane that's slow us down before the right hand. Where am I going? Going this way and it's like... Oh, I hope this is right. <laughs> yep. No, that was the wrong way. Come on, we've got to catch up the claws. He knows where to go. So I'm meant to go the other way? Because I'm not meant to be turning off. So it must be this. Let's see. Hang on. Oh, so that's that's where the waypoint was back there. And losing precious time. Let's get back to whoa, 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 what's this American accent again? Alright, so you can't turn off there. That way's the wrong way, so it must be this way. I know that robot note makes no sense. Nothing. <laughs> right. right, so it turns out this is the only way to go. Oh, well, there's so many like 90s and everything. Right, there's a house. Is there a right hander? There is a right hander. Wait, we hit this one. Mejor volvamos a la última nota que conocemos. What? Oh. 
told you, this is confusing as hell. <laughs> like, like, road book is not telling you where to go. Road drive is not telling you where to go either. All right. So, this is where we turned off. Hi, everyone. So, I meant to turn off here. But then there's a left. I don't know where they go. What? Hang on, so I meant to turn right. Hang on, so yeah, this is where we came from. Atención, cuidado. Let me see. Que evitar los daños. Oh no, I meant to go straight. Why don't I go right? Oh, because the next road bit's right. Oh god. Alright, so go past the house. And then we go right. Left. There we go. All right. I was looking at the wrong road, but no, that's on me. Oh my god! Too many roads around here. Oh, now we're going off cap. Oh, off road even. Oh. <laughs> I know it's just for a couple of k's, but still. There we go, right, back on the road. Thank God we're not battling for a win. <laughs> like, this would be... Oh, this would be really bad then. Got to remember this for the car run. I was like, can we just a blue highlighter? I think the red's not working for me. That's a couple of times I've not been able to see where to go. Okay, okay. Oh, God damn it. Of course there's a mud trap. I haven't had one of those for a while. Oh, we've got a 30 coming up in 10k, so at least 10k's behind right, Claude. Oh no. And we're stuck here. I wonder if the tyres are getting a bit flat, maybe. I know, you like complaining, I got it. Alright, let's get back in. Speed off! Oh, I got back in in time. God damn it. There we go. Oh my god, we're basically through it anyway. Are you kidding? Alright, someone gets, gets my recovery boards. Oh, that's so annoying. Has he got yellow now? Oh, is that for the tyres? That must be for the tyres. And I actually have hit a couple of things to the front. Maybe it's a radiator. <laughs> well, it's definitely the tyres now. <laughs> we may have a look through this 30. This is nice and quick before then. Yeah, rear tires are starting to go. All right. Comienzo de zona de límite de velocidad a 30. Recto a la derecha. Pista principal. Yes, yeah, hi everyone. Yeah, I'm not late. All right, this is on time. Oh. I wasn't trying to take them out. All right. Oh, is that my recovery board? 
How do you already got it? <laughs> yes, hello, hello. Let's get out of it. And then we're taking the right hand bend next. Dos kilómetros y trescientos. Sigue en pista. Don't think I can wait till the controls are done. I think for changing tires. So not that way. Is it? What is that way? It is that way? Let me see. That are you a cap zero? Yeah, you're a cap zero. All right. I was trying to see where that other turning was, but I couldn't see it. Un kilómetro. Prepárate para izquierda cerrada. Más o menos visible. Izquierda cerrada. Pista principal. Más o menos visible. Right, left, and then a right coming up at the next waypoint. Derecha, derecha cerrada. Peligro dos. Más o menos visible. And we've got another 30 coming in. Seven guys. So in that one, I might change the tyres. Just to be safe. Yeah, this is us flat out. No, we can't even barely go over 110 k's. Well, damage our tires are. All right, let's change the wheels. I got. I've, I haven't changed any settings at all since the beginning, so I think I've still got the wheels as like soft. So I think they're like too soft, unfortunately. Like soft tire pressures, soft suspension, soft high ride height. So yeah, I think the settings not quite matching what we need in Argentina. Sigue a la izquierda, zona de límite de velocidad. Termina zona de límite de velocidad. Oh god damn it, I thought we caught up to Claude now, waypoint wise. Well he's gone through, I guess, another control zone in front. I wonder how many kilometers he started at, but he must be like less than 200 k's from the village. Alright, we can just be flat the rest of the stage. As long as we don't get lost. <laughs> oh, it's nice having grip again. Nice having tyres that aren't flat. <laughs> Alright, I'm going. Follow PP. Well, that's 16 k's up the road till the 30, so. What, we're at least 20 k's behind Claude? Oh my god. We've had some dodgy stage, like this has been our worst by a mile, I was like. <laughs> I've got three or four navigation issues. They're not just little ones, ones that have cost us minutes. goal is still just to make it through this stage but I don't want to be lost by 20 minutes or something <laughs> I actually want to make it through in a decent time Cuatro kilómetros. Sigue centrado en la pista principal. Sigue. 
and that's not helping there's over 600 k's through i know it's 800 just under 800 k's for the end so we've got less than what 200 k's to go This call's going through another 30, I think. Course, yeah, but if we, you know, we have those villages and the mountain roads. This is what we have in Argentina, and like the kind of villages on these kind of main roads. No, is anyone here? Doesn't it like it? Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Seis kilómetros. Sigue la pista principal. Sigue. Tres yeah, okay, it's more like, you know, we're hitting 130 now. No so just over 110. Shows the difference of, you know, new tyres compared to heavily worn flat tyres. 20k is a bit of a difference. I wonder if our opponents don't change tyres. Maybe that's why they're slow. So they just have like the old worn tyres. Maybe that's why we see them like go slow. We go past them on some stages. This way? Yeah. Oh, a couple cases so another 30. Guessing everyone's gathered in this this village then. Let's see. Yeah, no, there is, is everyone. See, no, they're all gathered. Hello, hello, hello. Hola. Right, and then we've got a right. Oh, I guess I'm going for another 30 years, Claude. Well, I haven't had like a proper waypoint for ages. It's all been like these kind of villages slowing down the 30s, hasn't it, since... Close to the beginning. Oh my god, calm it. I wonder where the next 30 years. Oh, he's gone for another one. Unless we've got waypoints which aren't 30 zones now. No, we've got a 30 what? 30 in 7 case. Oh, right. Right, Oh no, no. I am. This is just straight. There you go. Why haven't we been able to manage our speed like this for a 30? It's been 29 or 30. Dip down to 28. Alright, halfway through the stage waypoint wise. We're only, what, 10 waypoints for the next, from the control zone? Roughly. I suppose it's not been off road. Again, this has all been like road, hasn't it? Like, like the previous, well, the first half of the stage is all traces. This is all roads. I thought it would be off road a bit more. We've only been off road for like what three k's? Right. Go straight. 
Mantente a la izquierda, en la pista principal. ¡Atención! 500, sigue en la pista principal. Prepárate para derecha. Derecha en pista principal. Mantente a la derecha en la pista principal. Derecha y deja pista principal. Más o menos visible. Right, and, uh, hey, everyone. Derecha. Atención. Más o menos visible. At least the crowd gave away where I needed to go. Oh, my God. Sigue. See, you know, now it gets very confusing. A la derecha. Entra en la pista principal. Recto. Izquierda. Oh. Pista principal. This way. Right. Un kilómetro y ochocientos. Sigue la pista principal. 500. Okay, it's four way points there, it's cool. Oh, I thought we were gaining time being flat out. Recto en Zona de límite de velocidad Obviously not. 30. Comienzo de zona de límite de velocidad a 30. Uh, so we're watching out of our PPs in front. Okay, another 13 in front. Well, I hope we are gaining. I hope we're not too far back. Oh, we just got it down inside. All the locals cheering us on. What up? Termina zona de límite de velocidad. Siete kilómetros. Sigue la pista principal. We got another thirty in front. Come on, that. Is Claude stuck in that thirty? He's been at thirty-one for ages. And that thirty, and that thirty zone in front is only less than half a kilometre. Oh, he's through there now. Oh, we are gaining though. Okay, we are gaining. We're like five kilometers behind. I thought it was like 20, like 100 kilometers back. We've gained quite a lot then. Oh, the push is working. Oh, I meant to go to the left. Whoops. Mantente a la derecha. Zona de límite de velocidad. Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's like a kilometer and a half. Okay, maybe it is quite a long, long 30 then. Especially when you go off road for no reason. <laughs> Derecha en pista principal. Atención. Uh, say everyone. Oh, God, it's a normal waypoint in front. <gasps> like, not one because we've gone through a 30, an actual proper waypoint. I thought they were a myth. All right, I think Claude's entered into the control zone in front. So he must not be that far away then. Izquierda en pista principal. 
I say that, it's like 8Ks in front, okay. So we've like half the gap to Claude then. We're still probably, what, 10Ks back instead of 20. Still a gap we probably won't surmount, unfortunately, by the end of this stage. But at least we made it through, despite all the errors, despite all the issues. And it's like we're going to make it to the final stage. Zona de límite de velocidad a 30. Casa a la izquierda. Comienzo de zona de límite de velocidad. Punto de control. Detente para sellar la tarjeta de tiempos. Oh, it's 65 for radio, 76 for gearbox, 83 full tank, 80 for brakes. Tires all around quarter gone. Oh, I don't need to look at anything then. Termina zona de límite de velocidad. Right, 14 k to the next waypoint. Sigue la pista principal. So we're actually on the right, on the same. 500. Deja pista principal. Mantente a la derecha. Same waypoint as Claude for once. Now if I'm right, a la en la pista with our principal. distance behind, he should be going through it when we hit the next kilometros. waypoint. Sigue la pista principal. No, that's not right. Hey, on, there's a way. No, I'm confused. Oh no, that's 686. I thought it was 676. So yeah, we are still 10k's behind Claude. Alright, just some flat out roads. Gotta enjoy the scenery at like 130k's. Trust to show me had those navigation issues, god damn. At least I know not what to do with, with the mini. <laughs> and at least we've got a massive lead, so it hasn't hurt us really at all. Let's through the next waypoint as well. Yeah, and that waypoint's 9k ahead. I'm gonna guess that just means straight. It's almost 700k's through the stage. We do have less than 100k's left, don't we? I know it's 900 kilometers in total, but I swear the thing ended around 800 k's, or just under. Uh, so he's in the 30 in front. Oh, that's the next control zone, I just noticed that. Control point. Wait, this stage is so different from what I remember. All the off road stuff then must have been like Bolivia then. I thought there's more off road in Argentina. Like, as I said, I thought we'd see a bit more dunes. We've seen a tiny bit, but I thought we'd see more. Different with all the Rios though, but I don't remember this much road in Argentina. Not that I'm complaining, not. I think I prefer this from, from a pace point of view. There we go, just five waypoints to go after this. Probably not much difference in this. 10% wear on the tyres? Between... What's the distance? 
like 30 k's. What the fuck? Tyres, you better not be going like red towards the end of this stage. That'd be ridiculous. I got another 30, 11 k's up the road. We're seeing when Claude hits it. See if we are, have gained a little bit at all. Looks like we have. Should have hit it by now. Oh, there he is in front. No, we have closed up on We've got just a couple of k's behind. I swear we were like 10 k's behind on the first control point. How have we gained so much in so little time? There we go, past him. Zona de límite de velocidad. Mantente a la izquierda. Comienzo de zona de límite de velocidad a 30. Mantente a la izquierda. What's the 200 meters mean there? 500. Termina zona de límite de velocidad. Confused that as high everyone at all. Right, glad we caught up to at least someone on this stage, though. These have got it of, of cool. I don't think we've got enough time to catch Fado Jose. Are you just a waypoint ahead? I know that waypoint is miles ahead. <laughs> and it's 18 kilometers between that waypoint and the next one. The penultimate waypoint. Yeah, enjoyed this day surprisingly. Despite the issues early on, like after that, it's not been too bad. Very flat out, very on road. It's just a shame I couldn't follow the road, but that's my issue these last this stage. And I said the last stage as well, despite being short, like, is it 160k's or something like that? It is still very easy to get lost on that because, again, we've got, again, lots of junctions, lots of rows. Got, like, roadbook updating at, like, rapid fires on the gauge, and so, yeah, very easy again to get lost like it was on this stage. Oh, wow, he's like 20k's ahead of me. He's Oza, he's just gone through that penultimate waypoint. Yeah, 21, 22 goes ahead. So I don't see me catching up to him. I know we will be able to tell when the finish is. When it goes through the finish, we know we're when we're 20 odd gays away from it. Oh, we can see the finish, 758. Oh, so he's about to finish now, is Jose. Yeah, he's just gone through the line. He's actually 23k's ahead of us. Oh, wow. I don't think we're going to do 23k's in two minutes, unfortunately. Plus, we've got our time penalty anyway. We've got our four. Oh, good. No one going. So, I'm in your backyard. Don't mind me. I'll, I'll pay for the gardening. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do 23k's in two minutes. Plus, if our penalties anywhere, I don't think we'll last anyway. Annoyingly. Oh my 
God, that was almost into the tree. I had to trust the overstay then. <laughs> I had to trust that the car wouldn't grip too much. What is dropped way back? It's alright, got 15 k's to go, I'm just waking you up, you know, for the end. <laughs> Turn it. Continua. Okay, I've got lots of junctures where they're not showing like turn offs or anything. So I'm hoping I'm following the right road round here. <laughs> it's 10 k's to go. There's another stage down, there's one to go. A lot of time Patrice has done as well. I wonder if he's gained quite a lot of time or not. Okay, that was nicely managed, so as we are going the right way. There we go, six k's to go. Siete kilómetros para línea de meta. No te desconcentres. This might have been the longest stage, like time-wise. I was even looking at the time. Even even longer than the stage where I, you know, helped out <laughs> helped out our competitors. I think. Tres kilómetros. Sigue en pista. Vamos, vamos. Be finish round here. Linea de meta. Oh, yes. Another one down. Uh, so we go four minutes worth of penalties. So it's a minute or an hour, eight minutes in total. And lost, I think. Indeed it is. As, oh, without the penalties, we would have actually been ahead of Claude. So we weren't actually that far back in the end. Only like three minutes while in Patrice. That's again, only seven minutes separates everyone, despite our time penalties, as Patrice wins. So just a couple of minutes ahead of Jose, he's just a couple of minutes ahead of Claude, he's just a couple of minutes ahead of myself. So then into the final stage of the Dakar. We lead by two hour 46 minutes. It's going to be tough to lose this one, I will say. <laughs> and then it's an hour 37 between Patrice and Jose. Again, it'd be tough to, for those to change position. And for Jose and Claude, there's 43 minutes. It's the gap now. Jose inching out of the Frenchman there. 